Hi there, I'm Dr. Andrea Labuti, and I'm here to answer the question, how is testosterone related to autism? So testosterone, what do you think about when you hear the word testosterone? Male, strong, he-man, right? Well, yes, but there is so much more to testosterone than big muscles and a deep voice. You know, there are several studies that link higher levels of testosterone to autism. One um, prevalent researcher is Simon Baron Cohen. He's the director of the Autism Research in, uh, Center at Cambridge University in the UK. He's facilitated several studies and a lot of his work details a link between high prenatal levels of testosterone and autistic behaviors. Fascinating information. Um, so testosterone not only masculinizes the body, it also masculinizes the brain. And the effects of testosterone on the brain are well documented and there are distinct differences in the brains of those with autism compared to typical individuals. Now, a couple of, um, I think, uh, important studies related to testosterone and autism. So researchers at the Medical College of Georgia have discovered decreased levels of, it's called estrogen receptor beta. It's a brain protection receptor in autistic brains, okay? So decreased levels of this protective brain uh, receptor. And furthermore, there is also reduced expression of the enzyme aromatase, and aromatase converts testosterone to estrogen. So reduced expression of that in autism. So uh, less estrogen, more testosterone. Pretty simple connection that we can assume or hypothesize um, in terms of why there's you know, four to one boys to girls. So estrogen is known to be neuroprotective, but nobody knows whether its function is impaired in autism. We do know that individuals with autism do not have sufficient estrogen receptor beta, which I just talked about, so their expression is limited, and we know that that brain protection function is impaired. So the bottom line at this point is we only have a few tiny pieces of the whole answer. I think about, about autism as this giant pyramid full of bricks. So researchers are painstakingly taking one brick at a time and only looking at those um, you know, in their labs because these research uh, studies are very elaborate and take a lot of time. So while the research is enticing surrounding autism and testosterone, we are missing thousands of the bricks. Our picture is incomplete. So higher levels of testosterone have been linked to autism, but the exact details are still to be discovered. So we're we're finding correlations, but we have so much more to go. But it's an interesting, um, it's an interesting platform to, to jump off of. So I am here because I wanna change how the world uh, views autism. I have a lot of stuff over on my website. I hope you'll join me over there. It's andrealabuti.com. Um, I'm here to make the world a better place for everyone, autistic and neurotypicals. Thank you.